Hey there, everybody! Welcome back. Spoilers promised. Dick and Shop daydreaming. Sheila Carter snooping, and Thomas Forrester going into bodyguard mode. Brooke Logan did a very bad thing when she kissed Deacon and woke up in bed beside him. She did an even worse thing by keeping the truth from her husband. Well, that's all over now, and she's looking for a redemption story. Brooke vows to win back her man at all cost. There's just one little problem: Rich Forrester kids have no intention of letting her anywhere near their dad. They circle the wagons and push to keep Brooke far, far away. In fact, when Brooke shows up at the clubhouse in search of the love of her life, Thomas Forrester stops her at the door. She's not welcome in this here past. Go back to your house and stay there. He pointedly informs Brooke that Rich wants nothing to do with her anymore. Meanwhile, Deacon celebrates a small victory. He realizes Brooke running to his rescue and not Rich. She loves me. She really, really loves me. She must at least have feelings. Why would she defend him if she didn't? He is so thrilled by her heroism. He tells Sheila Carter all about the fight and Brooke standing up for him against the raging Rich Forrester. To say Sheila will be positively giddy is an understatement. Seems like some hot drama will happen, so stay tuned. I'll update and come back with the latest spoilers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more videos every day.